Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about them? What are they thinking or feeling about you? And what are their intentions towards you? As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Aries. Uh, and also, not every Aries reading will resonate, so take what resonates for you. What applies to your situation and leave the rest. You can also check out the Aries playlist in the description box. There's tons of videos there for your sign. All right, so let's see what we have for you, Aries. Sorry. Thinking about connecting with. What do we need to know, Spirit, about this person? Thinking, feeling about Aries. What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings? energies towards Aries at this time. Person that Aries is thinking about or connecting with. What do we need to know about their energies towards Aries? Wow, the lovers. First card out, Gemini energy. Five of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. So clearly a strong connection here. But the Five of Pentacles is someone that's like out in the cold, feeling abandoned, going through difficulty. And the Three of Wands is a card about kind of waiting for a result. Um, kind of waiting for a message back, waiting for your ship to come in, etc. So, hmm. There's so many ways to interpret this. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Wow, the Empress. Someone definitely, I think they could even be missing you, waiting for you to return, waiting to take some sort of action. We'll have to see when we clarify, but let's get some uh, energies out here for Aries. What do we need to know about this person's energies when it comes to Aries? What do we need to know about their energies? Far apart, distance, separation, divide. Distance is affecting your connection. What else do I need to know for Aries? Past life. Okay, so you are not with this person. This could be somebody from the past or past life connection. Lasting promise is at the bottom of the deck. This is a card about long-term commitments, longevity, future. Hmm. Oops, I touched the tripod. Let's see, what else do we need to know about this person's energies? For Aries. What else do we need to know about this person's energies when it comes to Aries? Main female. I instantly thought of the Empress. Someone, yeah, and there's mature woman. Someone has their eye on you. I think so, um, this is a very specific message, but I think that you've known this person long enough where you have matured, time has passed for you to kind of level up, grow older, more mature, more accomplished, more established. Okay, let's see what else. There's, there could also be two different people here, but let's not jump the gun just, just yet. <laughs> Tell me about the lovers. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Justice, Libra energy. Why is the lover the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? The fool. Okay. Why is the lovers here? Can I get one more? We got an interesting message with the fool. Page of Swords. Okay. The moon at the bottom of the deck, Pisces energy. So when I see the moon with a card like the Page of Swords, the Knight of Cups, I think of someone breaking the silence or clearing something up, opening up, um, no longer hiding how they feel or hiding information. But I guess I, when I saw the Fool, I really thought of taking this literally, like someone was saying I was dumb. I was so dumb. 
I was a fool. But now they, they see with justice. Justice is about being objective. Emotions. Um, oh, you guys can't see. Hang on a sec. Emotions don't really affect the person making the decision or the or you know it doesn't justice is about looking at the facts looking at the evidence and then making a fair decision so i feel like someone is no longer kind of hiding or in denial about this connection it's almost like they're understanding that and the page of swords is here as well so it's like there's intelligence here Okay, hold on. Let me clarify this. Tell me about this page of swords. Why is the page of swords here? Why is the page of swords here? The knight of wands. Okay, so there's temperance at the bottom of the deck. I, I feel like this person, when I see the page of swords of the knight of wands, there's like communication here about taking some sort of action or someone could be talking about something that they've acted on in the past. But you know what I see here more than anything? I feel like this is going to be a very specific reading. It's almost like they want to talk to you about how stupid they were with certain decisions. We'll see if that continues, that message continues in the reading, but... I'm just picking up that this person is like, they want to take back certain things. Um, it could be that they're, you know, very attracted to you, motivated, um, uh, passionate, and kind of want to take initiative um, with the Page of Swords. But well, that's just what I'm getting so far. It's almost like someone is um, seeing the facts rather than what they wanted to see. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The Magician, okay. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here, Spirit? The Wheel of Fortune, my goodness. This is like manifesting a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> this is somebody that they are hoping against hope that they have an opportunity here with the Wheel of Fortune. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Seven of Wands and the Five of Wands. So there's a fight here. There's um, a challenge that someone is like stepping up to face, you know, and even these two cards together, they kind of like are telling like a story there. It's like this bear is looking at this dragon like, okay. How am I going to beat this dragon? Eight of Pentacles, work, effort, time put into something. I feel like this person... They're willing to fight for this miracle is what I'm seeing. Can I get one more please? For the Five of Pentacles. Also, there's a lot of major arcana here and that tells me there are major shifts in energy happening. Oh my god, another major arcana of the devil. Capricorn energy. Yeah, there's a challenge here. Four of swords at the bottom of the deck. There's a challenge here. Let me see if I can just get a nut whole different deck here to clarify. Sorry that I keep hitting the tripod. Get some clarity spirit on this energy. Tell me about the devil. Why is the devil here? The Eight of Swords. Yeah. Your person, there's a there's they're dealing with something or there's a challenge here when it comes to you. There's the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yep, there's the Five of Pentacles again. Why is the Wheel of Fortune? It's like they literally want um luck to be on their side here because they are at a disadvantage in some way yeah ten of swords there's something happening here it could be away from this connection so this could be happening away from you aries because you are far apart from this person tell me about the magician tell 
tell me about the magician yeah strength leo energy they have to be strong they have to be courageous the energy that we got at the bottom of the deck okay i'm not going to keep clarifying because i'll be here forever i just want to get some insight there so why the three of wands why is the three of wands here seven of cups choices options why is the three of wands here waiting for choices oh my god the seven of swords what is happening this is gonna be it's gonna be specific i feel because the hermit virgo energy more major arcanas and then there's judgment at the bottom of the deck remember what i said about someone kind of realizing the facts of something the truth of something um looking back and thinking they were stupid that's what this is right here judgment and the hermit it's like they're withdrawn listening to their inner voice Learn they could have gone through a karmic lesson and i think they're realizing <laughs> that the choice they made probably was a really crappy one they could also be wanting to change or change their situation and they might be doing this like in secret tell me about the seven of swords okay there's the nine of cups tell me about the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here the sun interesting i feel like they want happiness they want emotional fulfillment and it's almost like they're willing to do whatever it takes to get it even if it means not being very ethical or having to be very strategic or playing playing their cards right there's the king of wands bottom of the deck aries leo sagittarius energy tell me about the hermit virgo energy if i didn't mention that already why is the hermit here eight of pentacles yeah whatever they realize they're putting an effort into something now that's why the magician's here eight of pentacles tell me about the hermit wow six of cups yeah uh there's the five of cups there's a lot of regret here um from the past and now it's like they don't want this life anymore i feel like your person is like i want something new something better i know i did wrong but is that really the end right is that for some reason this has something to do with you aries either they're regretting a decision they made regarding you in the past or whatever decisions they've made in the past they want to be free of them so that they can then head towards you let's get some more insight here tell me more about what this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to aries spirit what are they thinking or feeling when it comes to aries what are their thoughts feelings i desire you i'm torn bottom of the deck get a hidden truth oracle what else do we need to know what are they thinking feeling when it comes to aries spirit what do we need to know i can't stop thinking about you I hope that you could forgive me one day. Yeah, okay, so some of these regrets have something to do with you. Spirit, tell me about this person's intentions for the near future. What are their intentions for the near future with Aries? Ah, okay, okay, hold on. This mat is really, like, <laughs> grippy. Oh my gosh the fool again justice again what is happening page of wands there's that seven of wands again oh my gosh six of wands okay tell me about the fool 
Why is the fool here? Five of Swords. Why is the fool here? I'm telling you, this has to do about like a mistake from the past. Tell me about the fool. Ace of Swords. Again, uh, communicating this to you. Um, Six of Pentacles. I think this Ten of Pentacles also showed up. I'm distracted because I'm like getting so many messages. Some of these are confirming what we've already seen. There's a Nine of Cups again. So getting their wish fulfilled here is very important. A uh, conversation here with the Ace of Swords. Some sort of truth. I think it's related to whatever conflict they're experiencing now. Or related to a conflict from the past. Regardless, I feel like they have something to tell you that's very important, Aries. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. Five of Wands. I'm telling you, there's like a huge conflict here. There's the Hermit again. Once again, the Hermit with justice. So someone that has internalized something is listening to their inner voice, is seeking answers, seeking a way to plan for the future. They're realizing something very important in their life. And it's changing things. Tell me about the justice card, please. Why is justice here? Oh my gosh, okay. Eight of Cups, yeah. And then the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Once again, there's knowledge here. With the King of Swords, Queen of Swords, they don't lie to themselves because they're so obsessed with the truth, the facts, um, what makes sense. There's the Seven of Pentacles. And look at how that person looks. They kind of remind me of the Five of Cups. I, I feel like someone's really um, beating themselves up here. For some reason, this has to do with you. Um, I also feel like they're walking away from a situation with the Eight of Cups or they walked away in the past and this is um, an obstacle for them or something that they're thinking about. Because the Page of Wands is here. Page of Wands and the Fool. These would be um, uh, people that would take risks. Jump into something. Take initiative. Why is the Page of Wands here? Why is the Page of Wands here? The Devil again, and the Seven of Swords again. Six of Cups again. So basically what I'm seeing here, um, Aries, if I would just stop hitting, there's the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, there's something here where whatever they're thinking or feeling about you, the previous spread, is going to determine their intentions towards you for the near future. So it's carrying over because these are repeating energies here. I feel like this person has something to say. Um, however, their next actions, I don't think are directly related to you specifically. They're going to be related to whatever obstacle or challenge they currently have in front of them because there is an obstacle here. All these fives keep coming up. I mean, it's almost ridiculous how often there was a card here about fights or challenges needing courage um let's see what's at the bot behind here queen of cups and the four of wands this could be happening at home it's interesting um this person for some of you obviously this won't resonate for every aries but they have pictures of you they look at these there's a like a tenderness here Whatever happened in the past, I don't think it was your fault. Um, I hope that you can forgive me one day, yeah. I don't think what happened was your fault. They need to ask your forgiveness. Thank you so much for watching, Aries. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, I hope you enjoyed um, how I read. Uh, like the video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.